Hello and welcome. We continue our Learning Layers DevOps webinar series with presenting Jira as the main Azure tracker in the project. This webinar will give you a very brief overview about the most important functionalities of Jira for layers. Of course, it supports much more functionalities, but we don't want to go into detail here. This video is mainly dedicated to end users, developers, and operators. If you are not yet accustomed with Learning Layers project or the web apps to use lifecycle, we encourage you to see the previous videos in this series. What we have learned so far. Learning Layers have developed many tools with much needed functionalities. However, new challenges have been raised so far. These challenges relate, relate to scaling when the number of users increase. Moreover, we want to maintain interest. Requirement Bazaar as a DevOps tool have already been demonstrated in a previous webinar series. Requirement Bazaar is, uh, is for discussing about new requirements and getting feedback from those who are experts in that regard. Other tools including Docker Shipyard, Mopsos and etc. will be demonstrated later. Where we are. In DevOps lifecycle, Jira resides between the feedback and test phase. After discussing and confirming the issues in requirement bazaar, now it would be the time to create a workflow to take action regarding either the new bug or requirement as an open issue, so developers can sleep on the issue and put time to resolve it in sequence of workflow states. Layers project employs one of the most used Azure trackers named Jira. Everyone in the project can collect issues and prioritize, discuss and trace solutions and organize collaborative agile development work. To go to Jira, let's first go to the developer homepage of Learning Layers. Jira is available from the Azure Tracker item in the main menu. Wow, the landing page is already overwhelming. OK. We find here an activity stream, a login box, a chart showing created versus such resolve issues, and a roadmap for upcoming releases. Similar to Requirement Bazaar, Jira assigns issues to components and components to projects. By selecting all projects in the project menu, we see a list of projects that are managed in Jira. For example, there is a project for Axo, one for Layer, Layers App Store, and one for Seviano. The Learning Layers project contains some general layers components such as layers box. Furthermore, it acts as an incubator for new ideas that do not yet have their own project structure. Every software development project has its own, own workflow in which developers and members in the project complete. The workflow is better to be simple and easy to understand and follow. For example, by going to Requirement Bazaar, first it is better that we sign into the Jira. I will sign in with my ID. We go to Requirement Bazaar. If we go to Agile, yeah. There exist some basic steps which can be defined for every software development project. This includes to do, in progress, in review, and done. To do state comprises tasks which have not been started. In progress lists tasks which are actively under investigation and work by the developer team. In review state reviews the code and does some testing phase after resolving the issue. Done in the case tasks which are fully com accomplished and resolved when, when a developer starts working on an open issue, then it will be assigned in progress state and one can see it in it, its workflow. Other transition can be defined similarly. By clicking on creating issue, you can create a new issue. 
a dialog box appear in which one can specify the type of the issue which it can be a bug, a new feature, or a new task, or etc. Moreover, one can specify the priority of the task. For example, by clicking on priority tab and selecting critical, you can specify how urgent this task is. Furthermore, one can write a short summary of this issue. Assign the correct version of the software, specify the component re relating to the issue, and fill in the bar regarding the estimated time for resolving that issue. Finally, there is possibility for assigning the issue to a specific de developer. Now we come to the end of this series. Please do not forget to the exercise of this uh, webinar and also watch the next webinar which present GitHub and also um, hosting code, uh, GitHub is uh, for hosting code repositories and Jenkins for nightly belt. Like always, thank you for your time and support.